In this episode of Folktopia, we are going to take a look at traditional lime plaster. Lime plaster is textural, natural, soothing, and interesting. I've been interested in trying it out. Since my daughter's moved out, we're going to take her old room and make it into a guest room. And so it's the perfect opportunity to refresh the old lath and plaster walls with traditional lime plaster. The product I'm using is Lime Strong, so let's take a look at it. All right, we start out with this Dimension Grit, which is a fine pumice that you add to a primer, and it helps bind the substrate to the new layer of lime plaster that you're putting on the wall. I'm starting out here by priming, patching, priming some more, and prior to priming, I did a wall degreasing with TSP diluted in water per the manufacturer's recommendations for wall preparation. I've been interested in lime plaster ever since I made my cob oven because the traditional exterior of a cob oven is a lime putty based veneer. And so going down the YouTube rabbit hole, Skill Cult has the greatest primer on lime and lime putty and how to make it and the scientific process that goes into converting the lime into limestone, essentially. One thing that I always seem to do, forever and always, every time, is add too much water to dry mixes. This project was no exception. This first coat does go on really smooth. It wasn't as messy as some of the samples that I did, which were even soupier. The process calls for two to three coats. You can see that as this first coat goes on and I weave in different areas at different times, it creates a really varied hand troweled texture. You look at the wall as a uniform color, but when you look a little bit closer, you see all of that variation. As I'm leveling up the walls, I can't help notice the neglected parts of the room. So I'll take the opportunity now to clean up the dirt and debris, sand some of the old paint. I did do a lead test on here and on the uh, adjacent plaster and thankfully there's nothing there. I'm gonna take extra time to mask the wall off from any overspray. I'm using the 3M Extra Sharp Lines masking tape. And then I'll overlap that with some of this cardboard, ram board. Hit it with some spray paint. This is a matte black. And as I pull everything off, it's perfect on the walls. There is a little bit of shadow of overspray on the floor here.
check out this protective finish. It's a Castile soap, which is an olive oil based soap. Very cool. Now I'm not much of an interior designer and I haven't decorated a bedroom since 8th grade. When my room was also blue by the way. But what I'm going for here is a calming, beautiful, comfortable respite. A simple bedroom. European linen sheets. A medium weight down comforter. A traditional wool blanket for extra warmth. I think it's beautiful but it does create a special look and I'm happy with the end result. It is more time consuming and more expensive than painting the walls for certain. I hope you all enjoyed getting a look at Lime Strong Lime Plaster. And this isn't really the end result. This is the first coat of three and we'll get that second and third coat on at some point in the future. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.